Good afternoon, the honorable Mr. and Mrs. Speakers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ted Liu, the moderator of today's forum. On behalf of this forum, I would like to welcome you all to this prestigious forum about board game learning held by National Pindong University College of Education and the Center of Board Game Learning. Firstly, let us welcome the host university of this forum, National Pindong University, our beloved president, Professor Michael Gu, to give us the welcome speech. And because at this moment, we have a lot of forum are held in together. So we have a video clip presented by our president. So please let's give it a big hand to him and let's enjoy the video. National Pindong University was established on August 1st, 2014 by a merger of the two national universities in Pindong, Taiwan. So it is a very young university. It has already accumulated over 100 years of glorious histories in the past. Since merged, National Pindong University has quickly become a renowned university with many academic achievements on various aspects under the coherent efforts of its faculties and staff. On its eighth birthday, I would like to cordially thank all of our international partners joining us for celebration. Among many activities, the Asian Presidential Summit Forum is held in the morning session. I have been so thankful for many university presidents or rectors joining us and sharing precious experience for fighting COVID-19 pandemic, especially on the higher education issues. I truly hope that the pandemic will be completely eradicated very soon. Then we can meet each other again in the near futures. The other six forums was, were organized respectively by the six colleges in the afternoon sessions. Thank all of the organizers for their hard work. Each forum focused on specific topics of research interest. I would like to thank all of the speakers and the participants with your sharing and contribution of your expertise. I believe the outcome of each forum will be very successful and fruitful. Once again, please join me celebrating MPTU's as a university anniversary. Happy birthday to National Pindong University. I wish you all good health and many success of your universities and your academic career. Thank you. Okay, now the next, we are very pleased to welcome our Vice President Liu Yingwei to give us the, his personal welcome remarks. Let's give it a big hand to him. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ted, and the team of Chen Xi, and all our distinguished participant guests, uh, which represent your esteemed university to join this forum of board game learning online. So I wish today's forum will collaborate more and more all our sister university and let's grow together hand in hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vice President. Okay. Now, please allow me to introduce the organizer of this forum, Dean of College of Education, Professor Jian Chen Xi, 
to give us the welcome remarks. Yeah, hi. And uh, uh, first, first uh, uh, present, I am UTT present. So my, oh, yes, welcome, welcome you. And uh, um, Indonesia Dean of Kaiji, and uh, 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 Professor Anwa, oh, thank you, oh, and all, all, all our friends. Uh, yesterday on rehearsal, uh, and uh, in the COVID-19, uh, in, in the just the two years, uh, I have many opportunity to, uh, to participate in the online uh, conference, international conference. But the last, last rehearsal, uh, I'm very impressed that uh, all our friends, just in rehearsal, we stay for a, a more than one hour. We discuss, <laughs> we talk. Uh, uh, we, are, we are close friends. Uh, that's very impressed me. Okay. I'm Chen Shi Jian. Uh, I'm the uh, dean of the College of Education and MTGU. Uh, it's my great honor to have the opportunity to invite uh, our uh, sister campus uh, professors of uh, Thailand. Indonesia uh, to participate in a series of international seminars on the anniversary of our university birthday, university birthday. Yeah. And as we know, both games are increasing varied in the concept and the practice of education. They can not only be integrated into various uh, various teaching materials, but also have the function of as a entertainment. Uh, Entertainment. We Taiwanese have a word. Uh, if we education, uh, we should enjoy our students. Uh, teachers and the students can also partic participate in the design, inspire, creative, hands-on implementation. A uh, national Pino university of graduate education and the board game learning research and design center, especially design the board game learning international forum, uh, such as uh, Kate uh, just mentioned. And uh, we hope to invite scholars from Thailand and Indonesia to share their show your research and the development experiences. And as I know, we have many friends uh, online. Uh, uh, we can from Myanmar, Philippines, India, and Japan. Let we know all we are no friends. Uh, think, uh, welcome. I look forward to have the opportunity to invite you to visit Taiwan just for COVID 19. But the Taiwan is a very beautiful place. I hope in the future we have the finally defeat the COVID 19 and invite you to Taiwan to participate in the conference. Thank you. Thank you, our dean. Uh, in this forum, we shall have three presentations from our partner university RMUTT and RBRU from Thailand, and UNISMA from Indonesia. Please allow me to introduce the distinguished guests from these three universities. Firstly, let's welcome the president of RMUTT, Dr. Song Mai, to give us the welcome remarks. Hello, Song Mai. Hello, Princess. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, <Mike>. hello. <laughs> uh, Professor Michael, uh, President of NPTU. Professor uh, Dr. Cheng Chi Chen, Dean of College of Education. And Professor Ketch, uh, our friends, uh, thank you very much uh, to allow me to congratulate to the eighth anniversary of uh, NPTU. Uh, the brain behind this great idea of International Forum on board game learning the board games offer opportunities for uh, learning especially for the new game uh, and new generation it is education uh, was uh, changing uh, very uh, rapidly so the board games are an easy way to encourage a healthy an easy way of helping a kids work on skills. They are sucking with. So the board game so the value of teamwork. They are forward open on our intent for teaching them that nothing is guaranteed. Board games are a very good way to encourage people of different age to team up and work together something they'll need 
to do through our lives. So thank you very much for this uh, opportunity to extend to us to be a part of the National Forum on uh, Board Game Learning. Thank you very much. Thank you, President Somai, for your precious time. Next, I would like to introduce the representative from RBRU, Assistant to the President, Dr. Jax, to give us the welcome remarks. Please turn on your microphone, Jax. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, Ted. No problem. President of NPTU Taiwan, Professor Dr. Mai Gu, President of RMUTT Thailand, Professor Dr. Somai Gu Saad, Dean of Faculty of Islamic Education UNISMA, Dr. Anwar Sa Dunlop, Dean of College of Education NPTU, Professor Dr. Sheng Hizian, Founder of Center of Board Game Learning at NPTU, Professor Ted Liu, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, Swadi Club. Firstly, I have to inform that actually, my president, Professor Waikun Tong Alam, would like to show up himself here today. Unfortunately, his schedule is so tight, so he ordered me as a representative for this event. Personally, it is my honor to join this meeting since NPTU and RBIU are very close friends. So, we work together on several projects for more than five years. Moreover, we learned a lot from NPTU in education technology, especially the board game learning. We realized that the board game is a powerful learning material for all level students. In addition, the board game could be adapted to suit the endless requirements of teacher and student. So, this meeting is a place to learn and share our experiences after using board game learning for a while. I believe that in this meeting, we will find several ways to use the board game even more better and more powerful. Unfortunately, we cannot meet each other in person because of COVID-19 pandemic. This is another challenge for board game learning that we have to cross too. Yes. It is possible that a new technology of virtual board game learning may be started from all of you here together. Organizing online meetings during COVID-19 pandemic is not that easy. On behalf of Rampai Pani, Rajapat University, I would like to thank NPTU organizing team who work very hard and make it happen successfully today. In addition, I would like to thank all participants who joined this meeting today too. Every valuable experiences and knowledge will be shared along this meeting. Hopefully that this meeting will be organized along the program smoothly without trouble. And hope to see sharing place like this again in the future, even online or in person. Last but not least, Congratulations to NPTU for the eighth anniversary once again. <laughs> Good afternoon and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jax, my, my brother. <laughs> now, uh, let's welcome the representative from the UNISMA Indonesia Dean of Faculty of Islamic education, Dr. Anwar, to give us the welcome remarks. Let's give a big hand to him. <coughs> Hello. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Professor Dr. Megu, President of National Pintang University. Uh, respectable Professor Dr. Cheng Yis Chen, Dean of College of Education, National Pintang, Taiwan. Uh, respectable Professor Dr. Kitu Chung Liu, Founder of Center of World Game Learning at uh, 
National Pingtang University Taiwan. Honorable distinguished speaker of, of this international forum. Uh, dear guys, ladies and gentlemen, let us first express our gratitude to God who has been giving us his blessing so that we can meet virtually to conduct this benefit agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Faculty of Islamic Studies, UNISMA, it's very great in order to be invited as one of participants to this international forum, Mod Game Malanin. And the, the exporting, the exploring, and the practice of the potential of Mod Game Malanin. Probably, our attention will enable us to share our innovative and creative mm -hmm. experience in creating innovative teaching and learning for our students, absolutely under the umbrella of our team issues. Uh, secondly, allow me to read this uh, word from Benjamin Franklin to begin my speak, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember, and involve me, and I learn. Based this quote, we can conduct that the student should be involved and learning. In addition, the lecturer and teacher should design a learning plan which enable the student to be both of subject and object. Uh, see, to respond to the impact of COVID-19 on education, the theme, the theme of this international forum is very, very essential to export and practice and the potential of work game learning. I do really hope all the us can take benefit from this effort. Here we are possible to our experience the end in terms of dealing with at the teaching and learning opportunities. Again, as a dean of Faculty of Islamic Studies, I would like to deliver my appreciation to our officers, partner, and distance advice. And my grid, I hope that we can work together, my course, and uh, yes, ahead to reach our course together. Finally, I do, I do really hope that we can learn a uh, better of benefit and experience from this forum. That's all from me. I do apologize for any, you know, and thank you very, very much. Uh, yes, and well, and the theme of a book of Islamic education. You know, I want to especially to, to take uh, appreciate that you provide so to uh, outstanding students and uh, Zobia uh, and uh, your 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 uh, They are uh, uh, got, got a PhD uh, now and got a PhD in 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 our campus. Uh, and uh, not only uh, they are very smart, ambitious, and they study hard, but only we can learn or uh, find the two outstanding students of uh, Indonesia and the Muslim culture. Uh, we we have needs have a word uh, and the teaching and the learning together. Uh, so we learn so much from your two outstanding students. Thank you. And uh, uh, in the last section, and the present Somai and uh, uh, the uh, assistant president of uh, uh, Jake. Uh, and uh, and other we we have the opportunity in the last section to talk uh, in the future we how do we cooperation uh, operation yes and uh, thank you uh, thank you thank you thank you deans um the next section will be our presentation and uh, we have three team from different university now, please allow me to introduce them a little bit more. The first team is from RMUTT. Their topic is when ball game is not just a game. Uh, the presenters are Assistant Professor Buntida, Assistant Professor Parinya, and uh, Mr. Boon. Uh, 
the uh, let me let me uh, please allow me to introduce uh, the second presenter, the team from RBIU. Their topic is using Bogan as a tool for teacher development. The presenters are Assistant Professor Yao Wa and Miss Nisakun. Our third, our third representation will be made by Unisma. The topic is best practice of applying the Bogan learning for primary school. And the presenter is Dr. Sulis. Before we have the privilege just to hear the three presentations, we have a section from myself. <laughs> uh, I will have roughly 40 minutes to introduce what we have done here in MPTU and in Pindo and what we have reconceptualized the definition and the power of Bogan. So now let's enjoy. <laughs> My hey, presentation. <laughs> hey, there, hey, hey there. Maybe you are a key, keynote speaker. <laughs> well, it's very strange for the moderator and the idiot himself to be the <laughs> keynote speaker. But uh, since we are good friends and we hope to develop this into a very close dialogue and a really uh, discussion in depth. So uh, please allow me to use this privileges to introduce our experience and our thinking. Our uh, last section of today's forum, that is the round table discussion, and we will have more time for this. And uh, for this, uh, Roundtable discussion. The the chairman will be our dean, Professor Jian Chenxi. So he will be the chairman, and uh, we welcome all the participants, especially our three team to join this uh, discussion. And uh, so far, as far as I know, we have a lot of different participants from different countries and from different university. Even in Thailand, we have more friends and trying to join this um, forum. And we are so pleased and delighted to, to have more friends to join. So now we will move to our final section. And our final section is roundtable discussion. And so let me share the, the background for this section. And I will give the floor to our chairman, Professor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you are you ready? <laughs> no. Are you tired? Yes, uh, a bit. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Our, our, our vision. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I think uh, I'm very appreciative that all all teams we put very interesting. But uh, uh, I think uh, you are very. Serious. So you are very, you are very serious, and uh, the impression is that all all teams are very enjoy your game, and uh, game is not game. A horrible, a horrible movie. Say that game is not a game. Uh, but uh, game is not a game. Uh, we have all kind of uh, our ambitions, our abilities. Yeah, and uh, we have a good time. Uh, due to time constraint, uh, uh, King, uh, if we can take advantage of this opportunity, if you still an additional section of, of your report, uh, uh, we know that international exchange are very important for modern universities. And uh, compared with the Western country, or uh, Asian countries, uh, we have the same cultural background. Uh, we are so near. We should strengthen the communication with each other. 
and I hope, or I hope, we are in, enhance uh, many uh, cooperation, many ways, not only uh, uh, board game, uh, but also all uh, different uh, external research. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, just uh, for the discussion focus, uh, uh, let me let me uh, ask uh, Tate or uh, present uh, provide some agenda or uh, uh, we discuss in more detail. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Chairman. And uh, uh, we would like to take this opportunity to propose and clarify some of our thinking about the possible future cooperation uh, among different countries. Uh, I think for our participants, we also have the, the friends from India, from Japan, from the uh, Philippines. So you are more than welcome to join our discussion. And uh, uh, firstly, I think uh, this is a very obvious question. Since we have all developed perfectly and uh, wonderfully, in this today's presentation, we see a lot of different university and the different team. You have done an amazing job, and uh, especially in all kinds and all aspects of the possibility of using ball game. But why should we work together? There'll be something I would like to ask and I'd like to propose several reasons and several consideration. And the second question will be, how will we work together? Okay. So in terms of the first question, why should we work together? I think it is very important to learn from each other, like today. We could, through this kind of interaction, we work together and we can enrich and inspire each other. And the second part, I think the reason why we should work together, because we all know education is a very old machine and we try very hard to push it, to move, to do a little change. And we need, we need to collect all of our force together. So I hope if we work together, then we can empower and advocate the different imagination of education and the learning. Both and learning is one option, but behind all different kinds of proposal, the main goal is to change our conventional concept of education and learning and to try to make education and learning more active and more learner centered and uh, the third reason why we should work together in my opinion is there will be a great chance for us to to, for, to form a confluence of our visions our influence and our impacts and by working together, we can increase our global visibility. So I hope this forum will not be the last one. It is the first one. And we hope the coming year, in the coming years, we will have more and more chance to work together, to play together, and uh, to learn from each other. And in terms of how to how could we work together? Here has some proposal from our side. First, uh, in Taiwan now, all the university has a very strong identity in terms of university social responsibility. We call USR. And as far as I know, most university in Asia particularly in Thailand context, a lot of Rajapai University, uh, the task and the goal is to help the regional and the local development. So I think it's very similar and very close to the conception of university responsibility. So perhaps we can think about the possibility 
to link all game learning with this kind of goal or ends for university project. And by doing this, I think we have several options to do. One is we could build international network. Like today, all the participants, all the presenters, we are already formed a very strong and uh, a very multiple and diverse network across across a lot of university across a lot of countries so that would be great we can take this forum as the beginning as the base for our future building of international network and we can take this network for academic research and professional development for teachers, for lecturers, for students, for future students, also for a lot of different purposes. And by doing this, we could probably think about how to co-create joint international project proposal. Uh, in MPTU, we have a lot of new uh, call for proposal of international cooperation. So uh, we would like to take this opportunity and this chance to welcome those who are interested to join and to work with us in the future. So we can begin with some joint international project proposal. And uh, in the near future, we hope we can begin with this forum to formulate the regular international workshop, seminars, meetings, forums, or conference. They have different size and a different purpose and a different arrangement, but we could use all the possibility to imagine the future stage for us to meet together and to work together, to play together. And uh, the final, I will say that work together, then so what? What we can gain from this kind of cooperation? I, I think from three aspects, there will be a common benefit for all participants and all partners. One is in academia. Uh, in academia, if we work together, we could have more joint research and more publication. And that could be very useful and uh, important for lecturers and scholars who work in universities. And for the training and the education of the talent, we could probably use our different experience to create some joint activities, some projects or some programs. Could be for mm -hmm. our students, different learners, or even different teachers from different labels. And in the industry and entrepreneurship development, or in, in MAX, in uh, RMUTT's term, is a career development. In fact, by working together, we can share and ex exchange different opportunities, different information, and different experience in different contexts in the markets, like in Taiwan, in Indonesia, in mm -hmm. Thailand, or in other country. We are in different contexts in the market. But by working together, we probably can learn from each other different business models different way to promote, or even we can do the translate, translate, translate some authentic organ from one country into another country. And then there will be a very international organ. We probably can produce and, and create some organ in, wow, it's a lot different country language, like in Chinese, in Thai, in, 
Indonesia language or in India, in Japanese, and they will become a really global things. And uh, I think that will be wonderful for entrepreneurs and the business. So my final word will be like, we hope and uh, I think work and work and the work together, we will be greater and better. So that will be my proposal and my initial idea to share with all of the presenters and the participants. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, Ted. Uh, just, just, just now, Ted, 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 Ted said the USR, allow me to introduce. The USR is the University Social Responsibility. That's our Taiwan's government uh, joint uh, fund to support our university to propose uh, uh, the, inter uh, the project. Uh, and uh, our uh, Taiwan, Taiwan government encourage our university to implement this social so, social responsibility with uh, international in, international cooperation. So uh, if we uh, propose our Taiwan's government the, uh, the plan, uh, uh, maybe we can invite a uh, different country, our uh, Indonesia parents team uh, to uh, work together with us. And uh, I think uh, in your country, uh, Indonesia or Thailand, okay, uh, I think it maybe it has the same uh, Southeastern or Asia country uh, uh, cooperation. Uh, I think uh, our campus is very, very glad to uh, work together uh, with, with, with you. Uh, let, let's let's it out. Okay. okay. Thank you, our chairman. And now I think the stage is open and the floor is open for everyone. So we are more than welcome if you have any ideas, any feedbacks, any questions or any suggestions, you are more than welcome to raise. And, and for us, you have two options to do. One is you can write in our chat room, okay? And we can, we can try to spread that information to all, okay? Or if you like to express in person then you can use the icon later uh, yes like like a, a putita like a mac has show us you can raise your yeah. hand okay then i think we can let uh mac to have the floor first okay mac please okay thank you very much ted and professor jian right yeah. <laughs> okay so it has been a very uh, good discussion today so I think in terms of collaboration and sharing, I think the knowledge can be expand when we share. I think yeah. I, I believe in that. So um, I would like to propose some activity that we can do together. For example, um, RUTT can host like the board game competition for the first round and we might, <laughs> we might um, turn the host like like the conference but this is run yes. by the the students yeah we can rotate yes yeah. rotate the the host and as you can see the key person is not us we are just the facilitator but the learning occur mm. from the student like poon where he leads where he work together and that's how it works and also we might input some small activity insight to develop in terms of internationalization yes. yes in terms of the language exchange cultural exchange i think we can do small activity within that activity small like small small activity in that competition mm -hmm. so what? so if, if you guys are interested uh, i'm utt is happy to be the first host and then we can um do more things yeah, that would be wonderful. Thank, yeah, thank you, Boone. Max. Boon, are you here? <laughs> Boon, are you here? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, it will okay, be the Boone. moderation yes. for that. Yeah. Okay. Can I, yeah, can I can I uh, add something to Max' uh, idea? I think it's really a wonderful idea. And in fact, I would like to share share a little more the first interaction between RMUT, RMUTT and MPTU in terms of all game. In fact, it's not just me and Meg or Palinya, but in fact, we also collect and gathered 
a bunch of MPTU students to play and uh, to 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 spend time with RMUTT students together. And the most uh, most of them are not so confident in speaking English and probably not has a rich experience to work with foreigners. But through this opportunity, through this chance, both sides, I mean, students from both university has already uh, grew their confidence in communicating with others and also make a lot of good friends among them. So I think it's really a great idea. And in my presentation, in fact, in 2019, I, we, are, we, are, we were uh, organizing a competition and then we have get the sponsorship also. But because due to the COVID-19, we cannot uh, spread our flyers to all of our partner university. We have to limit it. So let's finger crossed for the end of the, the COVID-19, or at least the reopen of the gate for all the countries. In that case, I think we can definitely walk and we are ready to to fly to each other. Thank you. Okay. Um, if COVID-19 seems to extend, maybe we can do an online. Yeah, that would be good. What I'm thinking is to do design thinking for board mm. game, mm. board game creating, board game production, let's say. Yes. So design yeah. thinking for board game production. So the student will get to learn about the design thinking process in order to apply the design thinking process with the core knowledge that they have or the, the interest mm. and then create the game. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay. Wonderful. Yes, indeed. Yes. So and if you if if we collect the person who are interested and we might have um a, a small group to share mm. the idea first mm. Mm. to set, share the in interest and then um yeah. RVTT will organize the activities. Yeah, yeah that would be great. Uh, we have collect all the email and the information from our participants. Okay, and then uh, when we have some activities or some proposal, we would love to email to all of our participants. And if you are interested and you would like to be part of it, then please reply to our email. And then we will have the, the following up a small group or small team, a team meeting for discuss the detail. So I think that is a great, a wonderful proposal from Meg. And I personally are very keen and agree <laughs> to work together more and more. Okay, any idea from other uh, participants, like from our, Indonesia, our, from our Indonesia friend or our uh, participants and audience? You're more than welcome to, to share. And uh, please, uh, if you are not a presenter, please, uh, you can turn on your uh, cam and introduce yourself a bit before you say something. Okay, the, the floor is open to all. Thank you. Uh, excuse, excuse, excuse me. Uh, uh, just, just now, uh, yao, 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 Yao Wale Jayan, yeah. In your presenting, you you you, you say that uh, board game will facilitate for special student. Uh, for special student, uh, would you mind say say, say more? Uh, how, how how to facilitate for special students? Because uh, uh, I think all country have special students. Uh, okay, I think this experience is very 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 important. Uh, okay. Uh, Microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you hear it, Kerry? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, thank you. Actually, in the Faculty of Education, 
we has a program for teacher uh, for bachelor degree in special education to yeah, develop yeah. teacher to teach a special student but mm. we don't uh, we, we don't have a special student uh, enroll in our faculty but in mm. other faculty there are some student maybe one I, I'm, I'm not sure about the number of the student mm. who is a special student that enroll in our university. Azalin, do you want to make to 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 clear about this because she were she is uh uh the one who has a responsibility in the program for special education. Azalin, can you tell more? Azalin, will you uh, reply? To okay. This? Ex okay. Ex excuse me. I, I want to ask for you, you mean that board game for special students for develop uh, for yes. develop about skill and mm. education? Yes. That I, I I don't know that you mean board game to apply to to student or to teacher for teaching. Okay. Uh, let let me clear about this idea I mentioned in my presentation. Uh, in the workshop for lecturer from RBRU, there are some teachers um, who teach in a special yes, yes. education program at and in our workshop, and they have to mm. teach about the concept of facilitating yes. for special education. Actually, mm. they said that sometimes they uh, demonstrate or lecture get. Uh, let, let the student listen to the lecture and demonstrate mm. and use PowerPoint mm. presentation. Mm. And after attending the workshop for board game learning, they think that that concept could be applied to mm. board game using gameplay of Ugly Doll to apply this concept and oh, wow. to let the student, the teacher student, the student teacher in, S, in a special education program to learn, but it's not for special students. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you for your answer. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we all, all, all can, we can expand our yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. For, for special students. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. Um, any any response from Indonesia? We would love to know more about the ball game how it is adapted in Indonesia and uh, like the game you introduced uh, snake and the landers uh, will you use in primary school only or you also can use in junior high or senior high now, could you say more about this experience thank you I'm not sure from uh, so this, oh, Yo Yo would yeah. like to say, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for the time. I want to introduce to for the Indonesian participant that about the board game. Uh, can I share? Okay. Our board board game in Indonesia. A lot of the community even though in this uh in the big city like in Yogyakarta in Jakarta this is the community of the board game board game community in Indonesia a lot of the community but uh, there is no some of the university who focus in this uh, board game and then this is the example of the board game so some of the industry of the board game they make by themselves about the nationalism. This in the Lini Masa is how to uh, the people know about the nationalism. This is like the picture. Okay. So the students, not only the game, so they can know each other about the, the heroes in the country. And also uh, some of the story of the, the king like uh, this is the title of Dragoni. So they can play the game with the students, primary, junior, and then senior high school. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the activity in my country. But uh, we will not. We we need to focus in some area that want to be make easier to understanding some of program because not all the schools provide this uh, board game because the the board game is very high price so some of the school not provide this activity actually it is a good game for the primary and then junior high school and the senior school to easy understanding the story from the country the story of the heroes or the activity in the family also prepare the this board game okay thank you for me excuse me this game is this man is local for indonesia oh this game if we translate into taiwan translate into taiwan oh we we don't have any cultural background in indonesia but we can enjoy uh, yeah and this game actually if we think about the international we think about the like pandemic so for the indonesian people is changing to the the local value the local uh, material to understanding the curriculum set to the students in fact a lot of program we we have introduced or used i think in taiwan and uh, in thailand in fact the originality is made in germany so it is already a translation from yeah, yeah, yeah. from certain culture but i think for the game itself is universal and uh, if we understood the game rule then i think we are easy to follow and to play it and still we will have a lot of fun with it that is mm -hmm. our experience okay uh, we have another uh participant from zobi yeah, please zobi okay uh thanks a lot for the time that have been allocated to me just for i mean for additional from my friend explanation uh, regarding to board game as we can see uh, from the i mean board game indonesian community and after listening the explanation from our distinguished speakers that uh, board game is a big concept and then we can um, make this concept as our maybe basic of thinking to develop uh, the learning content, the learning pedagogy, the learning material uh, as uh, maybe with the science content and the language content, also the social content. And as uh, what had been explained by uh, Amir, my, by Mr. Yoyok that in Indonesia, so the, ga uh, the board game uh, use maybe to share our local culture like for example batik so we, we have uh, the example of batik board game we can find in the indonesian board game community also we i mean we share our old i mean i mean the culture the the nationalism of indonesia so this is maybe some development that some of board gamer use it and then these uh, solutions that had been i mean provide by especially in Taiwan professor that is very suitable for, for for the condition nowadays especially for all children all young generation are very I mean curious and then like to play the game <laughs> maybe this is only the example and my question actually how uh, one thing is very uh, difficult maybe how to use the board game concept to apply or to develop the science uh, content material like physic uh, or many others it, it will be very hard than other content i think thank you very much um i think uh zobi raised a very interesting question and i think it's also a lot of uh still teachers when we give a host some a workshop people will try to ask oh how to use organ to teach like a mathematics, like a certain subjects. But I think we should go back to what Mike has already mentioned. He is the last uh, section for the MUTT presentation. Uh, if we think about 
uh, the difference of the learners, I mean, the new generation, and also uh, the different ta task, like for the uh, basic academic com competen competency cultivation, and also this we call like uh, 21st century skills. So in fact, uh, ball game is a good way, but we don't necessary to use ball game to teach everything. We must to think what is your target? Why you use ball game? If you like to use ball game to teach 21st century skills, then they will be very useful and very easy to do. But if you like to teach it to use it to teach mathematics, it could be possible. But is that the best way to do it? Okay, so I don't, I don't, although I promote Bogan learning, but I don't want like a Bogan for everything. It's like a universal, uh, like a ghost and uh, try to try to swi swallow all the, all the other media. So that would be something I would like to say, but I would like, I'd like to add something more. Uh, so far we consider Bogan as new media. And we have to cons we have to think carefully what is the nature of the media. In a media is the way to transmit the existing values or the dominant values, but also it has a potential to promote new values, to change different conceptions of certain things. Take, take the history of ball game, the monopoly. The initial usage of the monopoly, this ball game, is not just for fun. It is want to teach all the players the cruelty of the capitalism, how bad capitalism is, how people will be how can I say, uh, dominate and be swallowed by the system of capitalism. We will become the slave of money and you will lose your, 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 your uh, property and you will probably, because you, you, uh, you, 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 you go through, uh, you, you encounter the bankrupt, then you will be put into jail. <laughs> that will be the reality. <laughs> But it could happen in the capitalist world. And uh, the initial purpose for the desire who you to design this ball game is try to create an opportunity for everyone to think capitalism in depth. So I think if we uh, catch the nature of ball game as a media, so it is really has a lot of potential. We can use this media. One is to transmit the current values, or we can use the media to store, to or to uh, to record some missing values or local knowledge or wisdom, and also we can use this as the a tool for transformation, for society change, for value change, or to create the mutual understanding for our young generation by using this, me this media. So for me, I think uh, ball game is, the nature of ball game is a media, and it could be a very popular media for young generation due to its characteristic and due to its nature. And if we try to use ball game in educational context, we must go back to think the nature of it. And then we can consider how will you use it? Okay, so that will be my idea about this. And I would like to say something uh, what 
uh, Rebecca Huang has has already uh, expressed in the chat room. It, she mentioned Bogan may provide the learner a space and an opportunity, not only to explore their interests, but also to meet their curiosity. So if teachers can imply this interesting and enjoyable instrument to engage with target learning activity, it may be a good way to provide students another learning tunnel. I think it's a very good point and made a very interesting feedback. So thank you, Rebecca. Uh, any ideas or any suggestion, any questions? Yes, oh, please. Angelica, you have the floor. Okay, thank you yeah. for all presenters. Uh, first, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Angelica, and I am one of Professor Ted's students. And thank you for all presenters who already present about board game completely and clearly. Board game is a game we play on a DEX. So here I want to ask some question. Yes. When in the classroom, students have many character personality, like introvert, extrovert, and ambivert. So mm. by board game, how we face students introvert. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Okay, I think we can leave these questions to all of our our presenters because all the presenters has has used this board game to <laughs> in the in the practice and uh, must solve this problem. You know, every time when we have the workshop, some uh, participant will not so active at the beginning because due to the personality or something. But how to engage them, even if it is a game, that is really important thing for all the uh, uh, lectures to do. So who would like to answer this question? Uh, Dr. Yao or Meg or Polina <laughs> or Boon? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, let, let me share my idea about... Okay, great, thank about, you. ...about applying board game in a real classroom activity that you mentioned. In the classroom, we have active student, inactive student, and like a moderate student. Mm. Uh, so it is, it is not be pos it is impossible to use only one board game to uh, teach the student. And in the whole class, in the whole period of teaching, board game is that doctors, Dr. Ted said it's just a learning media or a teaching strategy to motivate the student to engage with the content like uh, uh, ask the student and motivate promote the student to engage in learning activity but uh, actually uh, content and skills and attitude that we want to let them complete and achievement along with the curriculum is important so for the all of periods maybe 50, 50 minutes or uh, one hour or two hours, maybe board game just only uh, a half, a half, uh, a half hour for working and we have to do conclusion and reflection and use uh, several rules of board game to let the, the, the student that they have a different, uh, individual different, they, they like something differently. So if they don't like this game, maybe next next period they can find some game that's suitable for them. So it is very challenging for the teacher to create a board game that suit for the, for their students. And we found that it doesn't mean that this year you use this board game and try and it sounds like a, it it is uh complete and it make the student having fun but for the next year you have to rethink really about using that game again in the classroom even though in the same context but we have the different student okay this is my idea about using bot game to promote student learning thank you 
Thank you, Azanjik. I think it is very uh, in light, insightful for us to think how to use ball game, and also it is very important to consider the diversity of the participants and the learners. Um, something I would like to add is, in fact, as as just as what uh, Azan Jack has mentioned, ball game is a term, but we in fact lay are very diverse types of ball game. Some ball game are very simple. It's more for interaction. It's more for like action only or behavior, like a response. It's like stimulation and a response type. But we also have a lot of ball game that is a strategical thinking. You must to, to think strategically you must to create your own strategy and you have to well manage your resource among all the possible selections. So it will be a different training and a different opportunity for people to learn how to think and how to organize the multiple and the diverse opportunity just as the reality what we encounter in our life. So for the ball game, it has a lot of potential, but the nature of it is also multiple and diverse. That would be something I would like to add. And uh, uh, any ideas? Or, and especially from our uh, participants, if you have any questions or any feedback, you are more than welcome to raise now. Okay, if, if uh, there's no further questions, then I think we can let every participant, uh, every presentation team to have a short conclusion yes. for today's yes. Yes. Uh, participant and the discussion, okay? Thank you. So I would like to invite uh, our MUTT team first. Oh, that's why we played in another way. We let the Indonesia team first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so could we invite uh, Dr. Sulis? Are you still there? To have some conclusion or you can uh, invite you work a leak together like a yo yo and uh, yeah. you have the floor now. Okay, Mr. Beck. Hello. Hello. Okay. okay, I'm sorry because I still in lobby hotel. I think there is some construction in around the your area. <laughs> we have, have another all meeting. The, all yeah. the oh, okay. students have another meeting. Okay, take your time. Your time. Okay. Um, I want to add uh, my friend. Please speak louder. Thank you. Check. <laughs> I look at. Hello? No, no, speak louder, please. Chat. Hello, hello. Yes, hello. I can't hear. Oh, you cannot hear. Okay. Hello? Chat. Hello. Lancar, lancar. Okay, okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's oh. 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 Now we see your whole face. Okay, I want to add uh in my opinion uh, about the board game. Actually, I have experience. I studied in class where I am the oldest 
and the people use the gym as uh, the gym and play. Sorry, we cannot class. hear you. Is still something wrong with the the microphone? Yeah, please. Uh, I mean, try to check. Uh, hello, hello. Yes, yeah, yeah. now it's better. Okay. 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 I I want to say about uh, my experience. Yes. I study in class where uh, where I am the the oldest, and the teacher used the game as uh, as media as medium, and mm. I play in the class in in mm. the class and and I forget that I am old. Uh, no matter what what it's introvert or and non uh, introvert student will join the game soon or later. I think the board game is a uh, effective media like that thank mr Ted. yeah thank you so much so i think if we choose the the proper media the media will speak for itself and it will it will help us to recollect the students back and also to provide a great a better i mean uh, attraction to student for our learning. Okay, thank you. And then we would like to invite the thank you so much. RBIU team to do your conclusion. Azan Jik and Azan Lin. Yeah, now it is your floor. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, thank you uh, for this presentation. Uh, that I said before, we will regret that uh, you invite me, you invite us to present and share the idea about uh, implementing board game learning in the uh, real situation. And we have more idea about how to design board game to uh, encourage the student for engage in classroom activity. That is uh, the process of using board game. Maybe. Uh, we are just only start to learn to play board game and learn to teach board game. But the, for the next step, we have to think about how to design and implement board game to uh, motivate the student engaged in their classroom. And thank you for this opportunity very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. And now uh, let's invite our presentation uh, presenters from RMUTT. Okay. Yes. 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 So first of all, I'd like to thank you, NTTU, especially Ted, mm. for giving the seed to us. That's thank how you. we rooted in RMUTT. Otherwise, we wouldn't have anything like this. No. Okay. And then thank you for organizing the events so we can exchange and then get to share the information how we developed and then cross check with you if we are on the right track or not <laughs> and clearly from pool information you can see the number of students who yeah. apply to the club. <laughs> that means how the students interested in this area <laughs> Especially, this also confirmed that the generation or learning style has changed. Yes. And that reflects the university that it's time for the teacher to change as well, to adapt. <laughs> if we continue to do lecturing, it will not be suitable for yeah. the generation exactly. now today. Yeah. So I think this kind of confirmed and then give the confidence for us to move on. You have created the network for us today so we can together improve like what Ted had stated mm. at the end. Yeah. So if we work together, share idea, then I think this will benefit to the youth for the whole. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Meg, and thank you, RMBTT team. Uh, in fact, uh, from my point, from my personal point of view, I am very amazed about how the progress for IBTT is. <laughs> like your new member is 400, it's bigger than our, our college almost. 
So that's amazing, and we can see the power of the Bogan Mandarin. It's also a very great, I mean, tool for us to attract the new students. Well, I would like to share one thing is for primary school, I mean, the principal of a primary school, they have replied to us that a lot of parents, when they choose for their students, they will ask, do your school offer the whole game? Yeah. <laughs> no matter if it's a club or it's a, like a program or something. So that would really become a fancy thing, like a indicator for the uh, innovation and uh, for the progressiveness of a, of a school or of a system or organization. So I think it is really interesting for us since we are already have our first step. So the next step is how can we really work together and then collect all of our efforts to create more global of visibility and then we can really like to organize some platform for our students, for our lecturers, and for even some entrepreneurs, no matter in uh, talent education or in like ball game design, we can even create some new brand thing for it. Because as what we mentioned, uh, design ball game, or design ball game for learning become a very interesting and a very uh how can i say it? has a lot of potential for the industry so i think there will be something we can think about together and perhaps there will be next step we can do so if uh just as part of meg has has proposed if we can have the educational ball game design competition internationally first from IMPT, then probably in the future, we will have more and more group and more and more country to join and we can rotate the host. And, and then if we systematically to think, to publish the, 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 the products or the work of the winners, then we will really create a very specific mm -hmm. educational brand or chain yeah. for that. Then it will be very, uh, how can I say, inspiring and a very in, a big encouragement for all of us. So that was something I would like to share. Thank you. So I think time is almost there. So <clears throat> we will give the, the okay. floor to our chairman to do the conclusion for today's forum and yeah. the section the roundtable discussion. Let's welcome our Dean, Professor yeah. Hi, I'm your new friend. I think Ted is your close friend. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm very appreciated. Do, do you know that uh, I am Ted? Yes. Ted got his PhD in England. Yeah. And uh, we are the same major philosophy of education philosophy of education and you know philosophy is so abstract uh, <laughs> but uh, i appreciate uh, Tate can let the philosophy of education so abstract uh, lead to the uh, interesting practice uh, by both game uh, and uh, we are we are different field uh, such as pongita uh, uh, is uh, maybe is a chemistry or uh, yes. environment uh, uh, the bomb is english uh, yeah. and uh, and Mitsuke is a psychology, oh, huh? yes. and Nitskong uh, 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 is a uh, uh, psychology and guidance. Oh, huh? we have different uh, 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 academic field, huh? and uh, but I think uh, we can uh, uh, use the board game uh, to for uh, for educational main. And I have a second question. Uh, maybe uh, Ted and the old, old friend can can, can sing. I think you, uh, your your research and the practice uh, 
and uh, it, it's very interesting. And uh, I think maybe you can uh, uh, serious to write a paper uh, called reorganizations uh, we shall show with the western world we can show with the western world and represent all uh, asia experience uh, i think okay and uh, uh ted uh, can, can you organize all the team uh, across the country and uh, propose a paper uh, in the western world to present have you, have you ambitious? Yeah, i think that would be a great idea yeah, yeah. yeah. Even I, I think uh, yeah, even yeah. a book, even like a chapter by yeah, by yeah, each yeah. different and, team. Yes. Yeah. So let's so have have the uh, we can uh, cooperation uh, in the in the future all, oh. and uh, uh, the, as uh, just the COVID nineteen. So I don't have the interesting to treat you or to enjoy. Uh, delicious Taiwanese food. <laughs> I hope <laughs> in the another future, in the near future. Uh, uh, oh, we, uh, we, we, we hope I will have uh, one team have the uh, opportunity to Indonesia uh, to Thailand. Oh, uh, uh, Thailand's food is so 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 delicious. Okay, and uh, I behalf of MDTU, and uh, uh, I like to thank you again. And uh, the COVID nineteen is still serious. Uh, uh, I wish all all, all team uh, have a good health. Yes, and the goodbye. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Chairman. And uh, uh, as the as a uh, moderator of this forum, I would like to take this opportunity to to give the special thanks to all the uh, uh, organizing committee, I mean, all the staff from the dean office, and also from some of my students, like Jamin, yeah. like Yo York, and like Habi, they have been very helpful and working very hard to organize everything, to create the poster, <laughs> to create the background, and to make this fallen can successfully and uh, smoothly <laughs> go to the end. <laughs> so thank you everyone. And uh, thank you for your attention and uh, participation. And uh, I hope uh, you will enjoy today's forum. And uh, for my personal uh, experience, I, I do hope this is the first forum, but we will have the next one in the near future very soon no matter host by Taiwan or by Thailand or by Indonesia or yeah. by other countries. Uh, let's really work together and work together. And then we were now really the member of the international network. So welcome on board and thank you everyone. Uh, I wish yeah. you have a great <clears throat> future and thank you so much for today's time. So yeah. our fallen will come to the end. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. And uh, be safe. And uh, God bless everyone. Thank you. Uh, let, 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 let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Uh, we, we are Asian country. So English is not, uh, is not, we are, we are not good at English. Uh, uh, we, we are not so, uh, so, so good at uh, such as Bodita uh, and the uh, boom. Uh, your English is so influent, okay. But I think uh, uh, not, not, not so many of our professors, uh, it's so good at English, but uh, we have the same mind. We have the same feeling. So I don't think uh, language is distance. So I invite uh, all our friends to invite your campus professor and the uh, English uh, language is not a uh, language is area. But I think, uh, I think uh, we have the same feeling, and I hope uh, all, all, all our campus uh, we can uh, brave uh, to participate in uh, the international conference and uh, and uh, invite uh, their, uh, any any your, your campus campus uh, professor uh, to enjoy the game together. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. So let's close our today's forum. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, take care. And I'll see you in the near future. Bye-bye.